What's up, Barton family? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be discussing 18 things not to buy at Dollar Tree. Recently, a lot of you guys have been citing me this article from Kiplinger.com, and I actually read that article around the time that it came out. So in this video, I am going to be going over that article and things they said to avoid. I'm going to either say if I disagree with it or agree with it, and actually end up adding a few of my own items that I don't think that you should be buying at Dollar Tree anymore. The price of everything has gone up, and a lot of families were relied on Dollar Tree to stay at that dollar price point. But with this 25 cent increase, it doesn't sound bad initially. You buy one thing, it's only 25 cents more. But if you buy multiple things, that's when it's going to add up. That 25 cent increase does impact a lot of people with the way that they will shop at Dollar Tree. With that being said, let's just dive right into this. One thing on this list was to avoid perishable and non-perishable food at Dollar Tree. And this is a hit and miss. For the most part, when it comes comes to name brand foods at Dollar Tree, I avoid buying them at Dollar Tree when they were a dollar and now with the 25 cent increase and it all comes down to how many ounces you're paying for the price at Dollar Tree. For instance, their cereals. Their cereals tend to come in three ounce bags and now with the 25 cent increase, you're paying even more per ounce. For the same three ounce bag that I'm going to pay a dollar and 25 cents for, I can go to Walgreens right now and get 11 ounces for a dollar and 99 cents or I can go to Target get a family size that has 15 ounces and pay $3.59 for the same cereal. I do understand though if you are single living alone or maybe you're in a household where not a lot of people eat cereal that bag might make sense for you because you might not want a big amount of it and want different varieties. At the same time you couldn't just say avoid all name brand foods at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree right now has big boxes of cereal. You can find Frankenberry right now and Booberry. It just depends and that's the biggest thing when it comes to Dollar Tree. Cans of fruits and vegetables are another item that I would not buy at Dollar Tree unless they have a jumbo size. Reason being, they're $1.25 there. I could go to Walmart and get cans of corn for 50 cents. I can go to Target and get them for 55 cents. I can go to Aldi and get them for around that same price. They're gonna struggle a lot, especially in the grocery section. I can buy this for a dollar at Target. A big no-no for me when it comes to buying at Dollar Tree are liquid detergents. I know in some instances it makes sense. You live alone. It's easier for you to carry up and down the stairs or you're going on vacation and that comes in handy. If you buy those small, small ones at Target, they cost you $2.99. It makes more sense to go to Dollar Tree in that case. But if you are buying for your family, if you're buying even for a couple, it does not make sense to buy those detergents at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has Tide detergent. You're gonna pay $1.25 for 10 fluid ounces. That's about 17 cents per fluid ounce. And the same Tide at Walmart is 11 cents per fluid ounce. That's three dollars and 29 cents for 31 fluid ounces so yes I'm gonna pay more initially but in the long run I am saving money the same with the name brand fabric softeners it's another item I would not buy a Dollar Tree bounce sheets are 15 for a dollar and 25 cents Dollar General has 34 sheets for two dollars or 60 sheets for three dollars and fifty cents when it's off-brand that's when you can find the best deals because sometimes you can find some great hidden gems in the household section of Dollar Tree but when it comes to the name brand stuff that's where it's kind of like hit and miss Let's dive into something that I don't necessarily agree with from the Kiplinger website. And they was telling you to avoid all generic makeup at Dollar Tree. Because, for instance, the SPF. They said that the SPF doesn't work, which I understand that. Or that the makeup, it tends to be low quality. I understand that. But that isn't entirely true. Dollar Tree gets generic, no-name products that are amazing. Just recently, I paid $1.25 for five makeup brushes. And those same five makeup brushes I could have paid $12 for on Amazon. Lots of times products like that people just buy in bulk from a warehouse and slap their name on top of it. And for the most part they carry name brand makeup. Most of the makeup they carry is name brand. LA Colors is a name brand makeup and that's the biggest one that they carry at Dollar Tree. Elf name brand. Right now they have NYX which is a name brand. These are name brands that I'm very familiar with and it takes up the majority of the beauty section at Dollar Tree. So I wouldn't avoid that beauty section altogether. Another item I do not buy at Dollar 
country and what's on the Kiplinger list are vitamins. Consumer reports have shown that dollar store vitamins don't always have the amount of nutrition claimed and labeled, and some vitamins didn't dissolve fast enough for your body to absorb them. I don't buy vitamins at Dollar Tree. I've heard multiple reports that they don't work the same, so I rather go and buy the store brand at Walmart or at Target. For the most part, the more popular vitamins, so like vitamin C and iron, you can get a good amount for $3.59. Something in the article that I did not agree with at all was the part about plastic food storage at Dollar Tree. They said that there is no BPA-free food storage containers at Dollar Tree. And let me tell you, for the most part, the containers you're going to find at Dollar Tree are BPA-free. In the past, it was like that, but this article was written in 2021, and for a long time now, Dollar Tree has carried BPA-free storage containers. Dollar Tree's biggest storage container brand that they have is Sure Fresh, and everything at Dollar Tree that I looked at had a BPA-free label on the front. Now, there was some Betty Crocker that didn't have it, and at that point, I wouldn't buy the Betty Crocker to actually actually cook food inside of. I would use it to store other stuff. I've used it before to mix things inside that weren't food, but I wouldn't buy it to store actual food. Just look for the BPA free label. I just want to say that that is not true, that all the containers at Dollar Tree are BPA free because they are. Even the ones that don't have a label directly on it, you flip the container over and you can see it at the bottom. It says BPA free. And in my opinion, the food storage containers are some of the best deals that you can get at Dollar Tree, even with the 25 cent increase. Next up, toys. Now this is another hit and miss. For the most part, in my opinion, it's a hit. Now the article says it's very rare to find name brand toys at Dollar Tree, and that is not true. Dollar Tree over the years has done such a great job at bringing name brand toys in. They have a big Barbie selection. When I was younger, I would have loved to see Barbie stuff. Barbie's name brand. It's not the generic dolls that you get at Dollar Tree, and those are terrible. The Barbie dolls or the knockoff Barbie dolls at Dollar Tree are horrible. Their legs always break off when you move them. The hands always break off when you move them. But for the most part, Dollar Tree has amazing name brand deals. They have the little Tsum Tsums, which are Disney characters. But even the Dollar Tree brand toys have gotten better over the years. They have the cutest Dow House accessories. They always have these cute couches and bathtubs in, but right now they're bringing smaller ones that are just absolutely adorable. And they don't look like they're going to break easily on you. I have bought Cooper little animals from there and you know they don't look the best but they cost like four dollars at Target and he gets the point that it's a giraffe and that it's a cow and he loves them. I would never say though don't shop in the Dollar Tree toy section because you know what for the most part I really do like it. It's when it's the and you can always tell just by looking at it. It's like the Dollar Tree products and you can just tell that it's gonna fall apart. Like the dolls, sometimes the little robots that they have for kids, or this like fishing stick with these little fish, you can tell they're gonna fall apart. But you can move a little bit to the side and then see, hey, look, they have hot wheel cars there. Next up, school supplies. And I 100% agree when it comes to the school season. With that price increase at Dollar Tree especially, it doesn't make sense to go to Dollar Tree for things like crayons and markers, especially if you're gonna be buying the Jop brand, which is the Dollar Tree brand. Those tend to have a very poor ink quality. They dry out real, real fast. I'd rather go to Target or Walmart, somewhere else, and get Crayola. It's not the beginning of the school season right now, so these items aren't on sale. I can go to Dollar Tree and get Crayola Crayola crayons 16 count for $1.25 or I can go to Target get 24 crayons for just 14 cents more so in my opinion it makes more sense to go to Target but if it's a last minute thing my kid wants some crayons it's not like I'm gonna deny it to them as long as I can afford it while I'm at Dollar Tree so I'm gonna say mainly school items for the most part I would avoid buying at Dollar Tree but when it comes to office supply items they actually have deals lots of times you'll find some really nice name brand pens that'll cost you more than a dollar and 25 cents if you get them elsewhere. Dollar Tree has things like paper clips and push pins. I think they can be hit and miss because sometimes the quality of them are good and sometimes they aren't, but they tend to be cheaper at Dollar Tree. Or I can go to Target and pay a dollar and 53 cents for a hundred paper clips or Walmart where a hundred of them are a dollar and 84 cents. Like that's how it is with Dollar Tree for the most part. Every department you couldn't say 
don't shop there. It sucks because there's always hit and miss. I would say this, and this is on the list, the automobile section is the section I would see the most things are just kind of a miss versus a hit. It's not too much of a mixture. It leans more toward a miss. On the Kiplinger website, it was talking about windshield wiper fluid that they could pay double the price but get something that actually worked below zero. And I don't know how true that is because I haven't seen windshield wiper fluid at Dollar Tree in a very long time. However, Dollar Tree has antifreeze and it's a very, very small container. And if you need antifreeze for your car, you're going to need a lot more than that. And you're going to have to buy a lot of it at Dollar Tree and who knows about the quality. So I personally would go to Walmart and I would get my antifreeze there for the most Part, like I said, there are things at Dollar Tree in the automobile section that I would not buy. I love Dollar Tree microfiber cloths, but I don't like the automobile section fiber cloths. I'd rather go somewhere else and spend more money for a lot more of them. So I'm in the long run saving myself money. Next up, Dollar Tree toilet paper. This is something I 100% agree with that you should avoid at Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree brand, first of all, is just such a bad quality. You find yourself using more. And then the Scott's brand, it's four for a dollar and 25 cents. The exact same thing. I can go to Walgreens and still get for $1. The Walmart toilet paper is pretty good. You're paying less per roll as a whole. You're gonna pay more, but in the long run, it's gonna last you longer and it's just better quality. Something that goes hand to hand with the toilet paper are paper towels. It's another thing I avoid at Dollar Tree. You're paying $1.25 for a roll of their paper towels. They tend to be very thin and whenever I use them, I use a lot more versus Kirkland, which is the Costco brand. But I know with Costco, you technically, are you do you need a membership so let's pretend you're gonna go to Walmart Walmart has strong paper towels six rolls that are comparable to 12 for eight dollars and 42 cents that's 15 cents more than Dollar Tree's paper towels and better quality now we have tools at Dollar Tree and again this is an area that's hit and miss I think it leans more toward miss their screwdrivers they stink they break real easily but then they have things like mallets and the mallet I actually really like I own it actually one of my favorite things to buy in the tool section are the paint brushes and the reason I like them is because they're bad quality they fray real easily and they're very sparse so what I do is I like to use them to paint I use them to dry brush and that's because they aren't a good quality so they're great for getting a really streaky look to make look like wood grain sometimes in that section you can find name brand deals like rustoleum it happens sometimes the number one thing on that kiplinger list not to buy are batteries and that is something that i wholeheartedly agree with especially with the 25 cent increase it's been proven before that generic batteries can leak and damage your devices more so than name brand batteries. And a lot of batteries at Dollar Tree, if you look closely, they say to use on low drain devices, so something like a remote, they work fine for something like that. But if I need batteries for one of Cooper's toys or one of my electronics, I'd rather go elsewhere. If you have a Costco membership, I really like the Kirkland battery. It's $13.99 for AA batteries and you get 40 eight good quality batteries if you don't have a Costco membership you can go to Walmart buy batteries there yes it's gonna be cheaper to buy the batteries at Dollar Tree but in the long run you're gonna find yourself buying more and more batteries because they drain more quickly so it is something I wholeheartedly agree with. Now let me know in the comments below if there's anything on this list that you agree or disagree with. Everybody has a different opinion on stuff. Just because these are items that I or Kiplinger said that they wouldn't buy at Dollar Tree, that doesn't mean that somebody else might have a different opinion or different perspective. So it always comes in so handy when others can see other people's opinions about items to get at Dollar Tree. Now we're at electronics. And again, as always, you can find some deals at Dollar Tree. I really like the work lights they have, the tap lights, but when it comes to phone, things at Dollar Tree, so phone accessories like the charger or the one for the car, I don't buy those at Dollar Tree. I used to get the cords at Dollar Tree for my Android, but then eventually the quality of them got worse. They're three feet and they just weren't long enough and they were breaking real easily. So I stopped buying them all together. Now I have an iPhone and I don't even know if they sell iPhone cords, but I don't buy them from there. The headphones at Dollar Tree are terrible. It sounds like you are listening to music underneath a water and you have your ear like maybe really close to a seashell or something. I avoid phone accessories. I pretty much, I don't buy phone accessories at Dollar Tree. 
but I do buy tap lights like I said. I'll buy a flashlight occasionally. They do have lanterns that are awesome. There are products that are great in that section, but avoid the phone stuff. They do have phone cases at Dollar Tree, and I couldn't tell you if you should avoid them or not because I personally have never used them. So if you have used them before, let me know down in the comments below if they work well. Next up, wrapping paper from Dollar Tree. And this is, I agree that wrapping paper from Dollar Tree tends to be thinner and it rips more easily. But I don't really run into the occasion where it's just ripping on me constantly. I mean, it has ha done it, but it doesn't happen a lot. And yes, you don't get as much parole versus if you went somewhere else. But I think it always depends on the situation. If I just need some wrapping paper for a birthday party and I go to Dollar Tree, I'll get it from Dollar Tree because it's a good price uh, for what I needed. But if I need a whole lot of wrapping paper, like a whole lot for Christmas, it makes more sense for me to go elsewhere. However, man, the prints that they get in are just the cutest so I can't say that I necessarily disagree with what they said in this article but I will say that I still like the Dollar Tree wrapping paper as long as I don't need a big roll of it because like I said you get a very small roll and yes it can rip but it's not like it's so easy to rip like I don't I don't I don't know what people are doing Maybe, maybe it's just me. There are two items on this list that I saved for last on purpose, one of them being jewelry. They said to avoid jewelry from Dollar Tree. I don't really run into jewelry at Dollar Tree, so I don't have much to say on it because I really don't run into it. If it's something that's costumey, it's not supposed to go like in your ears and it's like a bracelet or something, I say get it if you want. There's a good chance it's probably gonna break on you, but I think you already know that when you're buying something that is jewelry at Dollar Tree. I just don't run into jewelry often at Dollar Tree, so I'm not quite sure why that was in the article. Maybe whoever said that sees jewelry at Dollar Tree a lot. And then the last one was beach towels. I have never in my life have seen a beach towel at Dollar Tree. I have seen washcloths, I have seen hand towels. I have never seen a beach towel at Dollar Tree, so I left that for last because I don't know what they're talking about. So that's it for me disputing or saying I agree with some of these things that were on this list. It's kind of 50-50 my feelings on this list, but like I said, everybody has their own different feelings about Dollar Tree and what you should buy. And for me, with the 25 cent increase, I feel like the things that were never worth a dollar are still not worth a dollar and 25 cents. And the things that were worth a dollar are still worth the 25 cent increase. Yes, the increase stinks. I wish everything was still a dollar, but I'm not going to totally write off Dollar Tree and say that everything inside of Dollar Tree is no longer worth it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm very close to hitting a million subscribers. Again, let me know what you agree with, what you disagree with down in the comments below. And thank you, Kiplinger, for giving me something to kind of dispute a little bit. I don't know how to put it. Or um, give me something to talk about on this channel. Anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go. Take care, bye.